This short video is about a topic which I'm calling seeing through difficulties. Now on the basis of having clear sense of what matters to you in meditation, you can have a sense, a clear sense of over time of evaluation of whether what you're doing and what is happening in your meditation actually fits with what matters to you. Now what matters to you, I just want to make it clear, is not the same as what you think should happen or what you want to happen. Uh, it's a general appreciation, you could say, of a certain way of being and a certain way of working. And th that foundation, as I sort of often uh, stress, is about being present, alive to your experience, leaning into that, working with that, and being open to positive qualities developing and growing. So the more that you, that matters to you, the more that any other tendencies can be compared to that or put into relationship with those values. So in this way, uh, when you notice that you have a particular tendency or way of going away from being present, getting caught up uh, in ideas or fantasies or planning, you can put that in a context. Uh, does this really matter to me? Is this what I really want? For example, that's, that's, that's a, a, an approach, asking those questions. Another approach is to ask yourself questions based on the implications of that. So uh, you ask yourself something like, well, if I carry on with that tendency to get caught up in things, not just the actual what you're caught up in, but the tendency to get caught up. Uh, what will I be like in the future? And that seeing the implications involves your imagination. Your imagination gives, as it were, a picture of you of how you will be if you carry on with those uh, distracted tendencies or negative tendencies. And the image or sense that your imagination gives you might well be very accurate. You'll know, oh yes, actually, I'll just become more and more like that. And you can then ask the question, well, how do I feel about that? How do I feel about becoming more like that? More caught up in fantasies about how, how I am, for example, than actually being real and engaged with what is actually going on. And asking the question gives your mind the opportunity to, to, to rebel, actually, <laughs> to say, no, that isn't my value, that isn't what matters to me. And that response actually is very important. That there's something strong and powerful and deep that will actually counter something that might be intense and long-standing, but in a way very superficial and not thought through. So this deeper response of no can then bring out a sense of the, the, what that distracting or negative quality is really like. And there can be, in that moment, a seeing through it, seeing it for what it really is. And in that seeing through, it can just dissolve. Now this can happen quite quickly, or it can be a process that happens over a, a period of time. But the process, this whole process of uh, evaluating 
your tendencies to be distracted, to go away, to get caught up in things that are not to do with your values of being present and alive to your experience. And working from here gives you the way of working. And in that, you have a definite forum, as it were, for working. So I'm going to leave it there for the moment.